Hi guys, I hope everyone had a fantastic Thanksgiving. I decided to redo the cheap art supply challenge again because one, it was requested, and two, there were a lot of people who only have the bare minimum of supplies, such as printer paper, a pencil, and a ballpoint pen. So here I am drawing Luffy from one piece. Now to be completely honest with you guys, I, I was pushing off doing this video for many months now, and that's because I got requested to redo this challenge right after I had posted up my first cheap art supply challenge. And I didn't really see myself making another one of these videos so soon, but I figured better late than never. Now I don't really have too big of an idea about what to talk about in this video, but I figured why not give you guys tips and tricks that I use whenever I'm using you know, these sort of supplies or like what I've come to learn over the years whenever I have used them growing up. Tip number one is to try and do your pencil work as light as possible. And by this, I don't mean it to the point that you can barely see anything. Like do it hard, like press down hard enough so that you're able to see your artwork, but not too hard that it dents your paper in any way. And by this I mean whenever you erase your line work and you put it up to the light, can you see like a dent in your paper where your pencil marking was? You want to try and avoid that because that can potentially ruin your artwork, especially if you plan on coloring it with anything or if you're inking it. Like if your pen smoothly goes down that line, that's good, but if if you're heavy-handed like me and that was a mistake line and your pen easily goes through it, then you practically pretty much ruined a piece of artwork. Tip number two is to be very patient while using a ballpoint pen. Now, I remember not struggling so much whenever I was growing up using a ballpoint pen, but the one I have, it must be very old or something because I was having a hard time inking this, not because it's a ballpoint pen, but because the pen kept clogging up and I had to consistently go back to that scrap piece of paper and mark it up so that I can get a smooth ink flow to continually align my art. And I guess that's not so much of a tip or trick, but more of like a, like a, it's a suggestion, I guess. For some people, um, they prefer inking their line art quickly because they like that swift, like a sketch-like style. And for me, that's I like that style once in a while, but it's not my cup of tea. And I guess this is kind of linked with tip number two, but I always have a scrap piece of paper with me whenever I'm using a ballpoint pen because once in a while, it depends on the pen but just in case your pen clogs up like mine did or just in case there's some form of dust on the tip of your pen or fibers from the paper sometimes there's ink bubbles that form on the tip and you want to remove that because if you don't it can potentially ruin your artwork and by that I mean there could be a little ink bubble that forms in the middle of your artwork or whenever you're you know trying to draw a smooth straight line your pen could just like clog up and like make a weird squiggly line because there's like a fiber stuck to the tip of it and you just want to be careful you want to take these measures because it's your artwork and you worked so hard on it and you want to be able to show that and it doesn't matter what supplies you use because art is art no matter what you use to make it from Tip number three is to try and get into hatching or cross hatching. Now you don't have to do this, you can do diagonal and horizontal lines for your shading, but I honestly feel like cross hatching adds more of a textured look to whatever artwork you're doing. And there are many formative videos on YouTube on how to cross hatch or any sort of texture, whether that's skin or different types of clothings on top of that. Yeah, that pretty much sums up the whole video. I really don't have much to say. If you like what you see, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more things. I hope you guys have a good rest of your night or day. See you next time. Bye!